Plenty of times this season we've seen that it can absolutely be too warm to snow. But have you ever wondered if it can be too cold? I'll answer that for you in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. First, a quick reminder on what you need to get snow. You need cold air, you need moisture, and you need something to get the air rising. No kidding on the cold air part, I know, but did you know that the amount of moisture that the air can hold is directly related to its temperature? Colder air holds less moisture. That's why snow at 36 degrees falls in those big chunky flakes, but snow at 25 degrees is that nice fine powdery texture. The colder an air mass gets, the less water vapor it takes for the air to become saturated. When the air is saturated, clouds and precipitation form. There's a wacky mathematical relationship that shows that air at zero degrees Fahrenheit holds about one seventh of the moisture that air at 30 degrees Fahrenheit can. You can't make precipitation out of nothing, so the air that's drier has a lower potential to produce precipitation, something that meteorologists call precipitable water. But does the air ever get so cold that it holds no moisture at all? Not naturally. Technically, if the air were to reach zero Kelvin, or negative 460 degrees Fahrenheit, what scientists call absolute zero, all molecular energy would be lost and everything would condense. That's some apocalyptic nerd stuff, though. The closest we can actually get to that temperature is in the interior Antarctic ice shelf, aka the South Pole. It looks like this all year long, a vast expanse of nothing but snow and ice, ice that's over a mile deep, it must snow a ton, right? For six months out of the year, high temperatures are negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Yet that giant block of ice only averages about two inches of snow per year. Why? That bitter cold air is excruciatingly dry, and it very rarely rises too because the air is so cold that it's just too heavy. When snow does form in that area, it's often powdery fine. So the answer is no, it technically is never too cold to snow, at least not on this planet, but the colder air can definitely limit how much snow is able to fall. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek. <laughs>